So I've touched on this before, but the tutorial that I did is buried in an hour-long video somewhere else on my channel, and I thought it was important enough that I highlight it again in a, vi in a, in a video and just have it its own exclusive video, because this is actually really important to know, and it's absolutely essential for comfort when using the right trackpad. In this video, I will be talking about how to configure the rotation for the right trackpad uh, when you're using your camera in an FPS game. So I'm going to be playing Doom. I've turned the gyro off and I've returned the vertical axis and the horizontal axis back to 50-50. So now it just it functions the way it would normally function. So you just sit comfortably, comfortably the way you're going to be sitting um, and holding the controller while you're just gaming. And you're just going to swipe with the right trackpad. And see, I'm already looking up at the ceiling, right? You're just going to swipe comfortably. If you start to look up, the rotation's too low. If you start to look down, the rotation is too high. And that's very critical to know. So, okay, I'm very consistently looking up at the ceiling, so I'm going to go back into the software, select the mouse, and then, like I said, if you're looking up, the rotation's too low, so I'm going to set that a little bit higher and see if the problem goes away. Just swiping comfortably. Now I'm looking down at the floor. So now the rotation is a little bit too high. So I'll adjust it again, find the horizon line, swipe. Starting to look at the ceiling again. One notch that way, find the horizon line, swipe comfortably. There we go. And that's how you configure the rotation for your right trackpad. Don't you just love the no-nonsense approach to these videos? Like, I, like I, I, I swear to God, I will never add, like, an intro or music or anything like that to the videos because people really just don't give a shit about that. People don't want to see that. Anytime I watch a video from, like, Jay's Two Cents or Linus Tech Tips or Science Studio, or anything like that, I skip immediately over their intros because they're so incredibly annoying. And people just don't want to see that. You watch the video because it has information that you, that you want. That's the reason you're watching the video. You're not watching it to be awestruck by the production value. Nobody gives a shit about production value when all they're interested in is getting information. You're interested in production value when you're fucking watching a movie, not watching a YouTube video about a Steam controller. So, okay. I'll never add anything like that to my videos. I really like this no-nonsense approach to the videos that I make. And I think people appreciate that as well. I don't know why I went off on a tangent right there. I'll just cut this off. <laughs>